Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to our video, an introduction to A5 MySeq Assembly Pipeline. The A5 MySeq Assembly Pipeline is an update of our previous A5 Assembly Pipeline that is now optimized for the longer reads being generated by the Illumina MySeq machine, although it will work on any Illumina data down to about 80 nucleotides. Genome assembly consists of a multitude of steps, including quality filtering, adapter removal, error checking, contig generation, scaffold generation, and verification of contigs and scaffolds. A5 combines all of those steps into one simple, easy-to-use pipeline. This video assumes three things. Firstly, that you meet the system requirements for A5, which is Linux 64-bit or later, or Mac OS X 10.6 or later. Secondly, that you have a basic familiarity of the concepts of genome assembly. And thirdly, that you are attempting to assemble paired and Illumina data into a haploid homozygous genome. To begin, let's download and install the A5 assembly pipeline. A5 has recently moved from Google Code to SourceForge, so if you do a search for it, you'll most likely end up with the Google Code resort, but you can click on this link to take you to the SourceForge repository, or you can navigate directly to the link on your page. SourceForge automatically detects your operating system, so here on a Mac you can simply download the appropriate version. It's in progress. Okay, let's click on it and open it up. Here we have it. Let's move it from our downloads folder onto the desktop. And we're ready to begin. First, let's take a look in the folder itself. Here in the bin folder are the programs that A5 uses to perform all the various steps required. And here in the example folder are some test reads from the PhiX bacteriophage, and that's what we're going to use to make sure everything is running okay. To run A5, we need to be in the command line, so let's open up the terminal. Here it's in my dock, otherwise you can find it in your utilities folder under applications. And let's navigate to somewhere and make a directory. Wherever you run A5 from is where all the files will occur. So I'm going to make a new folder called A5 test, my desktop. I'm going to navigate into that folder. And here's where we're gonna run the assembly. So to run the assembly, you simply need the name of the pipeline, and then you need the reads. Here's read 1 and read 2. Note that A5 will also accept interleaved reads, where you only have one file for all your paired end reads. And then you also need to give it a name, so let's just call it A5 test. Press enter, and you're running a genome assembly. On my computer, this should take around 10 seconds. Okay, the assembly is complete. Here at the end is displayed a variety of useful information about the assembly the depth of coverage, the number of bases, the number of scaffolds, the N50, the GC content, the percentage of reads that passed error correction, etc., etc. It also tells you the final assembly is in this file, A5 test final scaffolds.fasta. So let's take a quick look 
at the files that are created. The only ones you're liable to care about are this, the contigs.fasta, that's the file containing all the contigs in the assembly, and this, the final scaffolds. These are the final scaffolds from the assembly. In addition, A5 creates a CSV file showing all of the assembly stats, which is what we just discussed here, that you can save to look at the quality of the assembly later. And that's it. If it works on PhiX, it should work on whatever data set you'd like to throw at it next. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or questions about A5, please leave us feedback at SourceForge. Thanks very much.